So in, in the in the podcast, what we show is that it happened in Denver and it also happened in Colorado Springs, south of Denver, where they launched a separate investigation. Those are the only two cities that we know of. But what we do know of in a, in a, in a national context is that the FBI was surveilling and spying on activists throughout the country. A number of documents have been released since the summer of 2020 showing exactly that. But we don't have evidence of this happening in other cities. However, I think given the FBI's tactics post 9-11, um, it's not unreasonable to assume that if these tactics were being used in Denver and Colorado Springs, that they would potentially be, be used elsewhere. And I think what our what our hope is, is through this reporting, is that we might be able to reveal other cases, that people might come forward with information, given what we're revealing in Denver, that these people might come forward about similar activity in other cities. Well, I can tell you a lot of my sources who are activists in L.A. are riveted by your podcast because there are always rumors about who's a cop, who's an informant, who can you actually trust when you're talking about the movement. And that's also kind of the consequence of having 15,000 informants in the country, right? Just the existence of knowing that the FBI is potentially spying on your organization is a deterrent itself, right? Exactly. So what, what happened in the 60s during the civil rights movement and COINTELPRO was that the FBI's insertion of informants in many of these groups ultimately undermined these groups by sowing distrust and making people suspicious that anyone they're working with as activists is potentially an FBI informant who's looking to set them up in crimes. And what we have today is really an extension of the war on terror. So after the 60s, there were a number of reforms that came from the Church Committee that curbed a lot of these FBI practices. But post 9-11, the FBI was given vast new powers, vast new funding, and it recruited this army of informants. 